Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I thought it would be fun to get a little artsy, so I pulled out all of the resin supplies and I want to make a couple of ashtrays for some Christmas presents. So I was like, why not? Let's film a video. It'd be a lot of fun. It's something I haven't done here yet on YouTube. And for those of you that are interested with working with resin, I can maybe show you a little bit of the tips and tricks that I have learned using this process, uh, probably since summer. I've been making these since summer and I've made some for people and they turned out pretty cool. This is one I need to add some stickers, do a little sanding on. So I'll show you kind of the end finesse part that I have to do to finish one of these. And I'm going to pour a couple so that way you guys can see kind of how you make them. So I got my resin, I have all of my molds and silicone things that I need. If you didn't know, resin doesn't actually stick to silicone. I have this giant silicone mat right here and that is the best way to keep the stuff off of your tables and everything kind of, I don't know, it's just nice because you can shake it off and just clean everything with rubbing alcohol and it's really easy. So that's kind of the first tip I guess I would give you. Have silicone mat, have your rubbing alcohol handy. I've actually found that hand sanitizer works really good because it stays in a gel form. And when you have to clean off everything, there's usually little bits of resin and you have to get that off. And I've been told rubbing alcohol, well, when we had the shortage here in the pandemic, it's been a dream to actually find out that the hand sanitizer works even better because it stays in a gel form and everything kind of just comes off with a paper towel and then you can rinse it off and get anything that's leftover residue from the sanitizer off of here and it is so easy so that's actually how I've been cleaning it the mat I do just pour a little bit of rubbing alcohol after a while because it does get dirty the mica powders tend to stick to it I have a ton of different mica powders like literally a ton this box has 24 different colors in it they're all super super pretty so then I have my little table over here set up out of the way and I'll show you guys kind of you know all of that in a little bit so you want to have a pretty flat surface and you also want it leveled I have a level over there on that one and I have two popsicle sticks underneath that stand to make sure it's perfectly level now I see let's do some resin pouring I'm pretty excited about this I like doing crafts and I don't really do a lot of them on my YouTube channel so the combination has been really fun. I still plan on doing the mural in the kitchen. I need to do the white paint. I've been so busy with school lately. Oh my gosh, I need to show you guys what I've been working on. This is just part of it, but I designed these hot sauce boxes and labels and all sorts of stuff. This is a little rough draft. And I've been doing all sorts of really fun stuff in my graphic design and packaging class. So I made these, I'm so excited about them and I'm very proud and I just had to have a little moment right there to show you guys that has nothing to do with my resin pouring or this video, but I'm just really proud of it, so. <laughs> and another thing I wanna show you guys and show off in this video is the Mini Q. This is not the Mini S, which you guys saw in the last video with the gourd, and that was a lot of fun. If you guys haven't seen that video, I would definitely go watch it after this. So as you guys see, it has a little button right here, and it made this little puppy variable voltage as if the Mini S wasn't awesome enough and pumping out the clouds. You can actually turn up and down your voltage for this. And I think this is pretty neat, and I'm gonna tell you guys why in a sec. But let's first take a little vape off this. Dang. So the really cool thing I like about variable voltage and having it within a battery for your carts is if you guys ever lived in a cold state in the winter time, these carts freeze like solid, right? Not really, they don't freeze, but they get really hard to hit. And if your pen is not high enough voltage or hit that thick of oil when it is especially that cold of temp, it sucks. So if you're going snowboarding, if you have any type of event outside, whatever, and it gets too cold, you leave it in your car, that thing sucks. So I think it's pretty cool that DOT has a mini Q that you can adjust the variable voltage. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. So all you gotta do is hit this little button one time and it's gonna show you and click through each of the variable voltage temperatures. Starts at 2.7 and then it goes to 3.2 
and then 3.7 and it finishes at 4.2. And I just have a CBD cart in here right now. I've been trying to incorporate more CBD into my life. Black tie is where it is at. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the pouring. I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, if you guys ever work with resin, make sure to read the instructions on your resin because each one is different. This one's specifically for super high heat because it is an ashtray or I guess whatever you want to use it for. So I'm going to do 50 of this one and 50 of the other. Something that I have learned when stirring, you don't want to stir. Oh, hold on. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. I love doing that, especially when I have resin hands. It's really nice. Um, you don't want to pick up your utensil that you're stirring with. I like to use popsicle sticks because they're disposable and it's really nice to leave them inside the silicone cups as it dries because then when you pull it out it usually yanks out a large amount of whatever silicone's left in here that went to the bottom. So those are just a couple more tricks that seem to help. So as I mentioned before these are Christmas gifts and I am doing a Harry Potter series. I'll show you guys all the stickers that I got after I'm done stirring this for the three minutes. They are super cute. I order pretty much all of my stuff from Etsy. All of the stickers, all of my glitter, all these powders, pretty much everything I get off of Etsy. I try to support those small businesses and everybody that has their businesses online instead of ordering through Amazon. Okay, let me show you guys the stickers. They're super cute. So these are the Harry Potter stickers. They are the house stickers. Aren't they cute? And then we got the platform nine and three quarters, of course. These are gonna look so cute, I'm so excited. So this one right here is obviously going to be for Hufflepuff. It's gonna look so good, you guys. Really excited about it. This is for Trip. so if you're watching, shout out to Trip. So I still need to wet sand this one and then I'm going to apply another coat of resin and stick those stickers in last so that way I can position them how I want. You can pour on top of stickers and glitters, but it doesn't mean that it's going to seep under it or over it and you don't really have an opportunity to place them so you can always do it afterwards with a clear coat of resin over it which is what I like to do. You guys will want a heat gun and for these I like to finish them off with a lighter also just a little two-part process in order to get all of the bubbles and resin out and it saves you from doing a lot of wet sanding in the end so I definitely recommend it. Another super handy thing is an air can. I like to use these little cups. Awesome, so another reason I like to use popsicle sticks is because you usually have a lot of colors that you're mixing. So with this, I can measure it out and stir with the same thing, which is kind of nice. So I'm just gonna take a rather big hunk, add it into there. And this green is going to be my green stir after that, and then I'll do a blue one and then the black one. Woo! And now we just set them over here. I use this because this is really nice for doming. This is honestly just an oven mat, but they do have sheets that you can buy that are waffle like that. But there they are. I'm just gonna have them sit for basically at least half a day to a day and I'm gonna do the rest. And now I'm just gonna take this and basically wet sand it so I can get all of these edges smooth and that way I can dome the back and all of the front and everything. So that is the next step after you pull them out of the mold. All right, everything is wet sanded for how I need it to be. We're gonna put this little sticker in here. I'm pretty excited. Give it a nice little bubble. And here we have the final design for the top. I think it turned out pretty freaking awesome. Here's the other two. And we'll just put a lid on this basically and make sure that no dust or hair gets in any of these. I'm gonna check them for bubbles real quick. So this is one of them that I did. I have a nail in the middle here for caching your bowl. It's so cute. I love this one so much. So this is basically the end result once we do the rest of our resin work and making sure that all of these are encapsulated inside the bubble enough to be able to put some hot stuff on there. But 
this is what it looks like when it's done. Isn't that cool? That's pretty much it. They have to cure for at least 24 hours before you take it out of the mold and you wanna wait, for these ones I wait at least a week because you don't wanna put anything hot in them without them being completely 100% cured. And now it is time to leave you guys with a little treat. I'm doing a giveaway right now over on my Instagram and my Facebook for the Mini S. So this is what we looked at in my last video at the lake. So if you guys wanna check that out, that would be the one to go see. But it hits like a champ. There is a ton of colors that they are offering for the giveaway. So if you guys want a chance to win one of these, head on over there. The links are in the description for the Instagram and the Facebook. And then you just find the picture of the dot and all the info will be in there for you guys to go ahead and do the things you need to do to enter into the giveaway. All right, I'm gonna bid you all farewell. It is getting rather dark outside and I'm having to bring my ring light closer and closer to me and the lighting in here is terrible. I hope you had a really fun time working with resin and if you guys ever try it, I would love to see. And I hope to see you guys over on Instagram and Facebook for the giveaway. And thanks so much for hanging out with me today, guys. This was a lot of fun. I had a really good time. And you guys are helping me get my Christmas presents in order, so that's really awesome. Hope you all are having a really great day, and I hope you have a really good Thanksgiving. And I know it's a little bit weird with all the social distancing and quarantine and everything, but I hope you guys can make the best of it with your friends or your family or whoever you spend it with. Just remember you are special, you're important, you're loved, you're cherished. Thank you so much for hanging out over here because you were definitely loved and cherished over here. Thanks guys, bye.